Hello, welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm just gonna take a minute and let people jump on. Hopefully my computer's working this week so I can see when I'm live because it takes a few minutes. So let's see here. If you're joining me live, say hello. Let me know that you're here. Um, yep, it takes a minute. I'm just going to refresh the page. Okay. Last week, oh, here we go. Um, last week, my computer didn't work at all. It was horrible. And then I updated it, and it was fine. So, hi, Carol. Glad you're joining me. Okay, so we will get started. Um, I am working with the Marigold Moments this morning. And um, I'd like to welcome you. I'm Kelly Ag. I'm from up north Michigan and I'm stamping up demonstrator. But um I appreciate you sharing my video with your friends. That's wonderful. It's always nice to get different ideas. But the cards that I'm using or what I'm using today is on page 36, the Marigold Moments bundle. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they are starting to do the stamp set and the um, dies with the same name, which is absolutely wonderful because I've looked and looked and had to look in the book sometimes to find, because I don't keep my dies and my stamp sets together. I keep them separate, so that, that was kind of a pain. But anyway, so this is what I'm using. And then I am using the paper that you can get free with the um, celebration, which ends soon. So if you've got a $100 order, that is, it's a great deal. It's wonderful paper, paper so and you get a lot of it. And then too, if you would like to join, there's always the, um, let's see, I guess the joining special is on the very back on page 18. But that is a wonderful deal, no matter what option you take. So if you got questions or anything, let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, so we are going to start. I have a um, angled gate fold card for my first one. Um, and it's pretty, it's actually pretty simple. Um, the cuts kind of look difficult, but it's not. And then I just have a, I actually did a Happy Mother's Day card. Um, I was trying to use this, the sentiments out of that set. But I think this is very pretty. So it says you have a heart of gold, thanks. And then my other one is a, um, I, I know it's a, like a step up card or whatever. So I'll show you how to cut that and, and stuff and score it, okay? So we will get started with card number one. And I'll show you how I did this. Um, let's see. We'll start right from the beginning. Okay. So I'm using the Mingo Melody. And I have this piece is um, five and a half by 11. So you only get one card per, um, per sheet of paper. Probably the disadvantage of that, but it's so pretty that it doesn't matter. Okay, and so what I did is this is five and a half by 11. I scored it at three and three eighths and seven and five eighths. So then that gives it the nice fold, okay? Ruler or a trimmer. Let me see, I gotta have it this way. So what you're going to do is from each, like this will be the top. So I'm going to measure an inch and a half. And what I'm gonna do 
you can either put that down or I don't. I just go and I put a little mark on both ends. Oops. Okay, so I have that. And then on the bottom, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it right away at a inch. Yeah, inch from the bottom, inch and a half from the side. So I'm just gonna mark that because we're gonna cut that. And I'll show you how to cut it. So I'm measuring an inch on this side of my thing because I'd have to flip it over. Okay, so there's my little mark. So I'm gonna cut this from this score line to there. So I'm just gonna put that right in my trimmer, line it up. Okay, so I'll do the other side. We'll just do these first. I love our stamping up trimmer. I think it's the best. Okay, so we're lining that up. Right there's the cutting and then the one inch. Okay, so we'll do this side too. Get rid of these pieces here. And then that gives us our fold. Okay, and then I got just a little pencil mark on here that I'm going to erase. So you wanna do it fairly light so you can erase that. So this is what we get. And you can go either way. I guess I always kinda of like to fold like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press it down again, okay? So then my next thing is I got the, the paper. And you can do one side like do two different patterns but on this card I like this paper so I'm going to do that and when I go to measure this I'm going to put these two pieces together and when I cut it and they're cut they'll be for each side okay if you don't feel comfortable doing that just cut each one separate so I'm going to go ahead and just measure it's not going to matter we're just going to cut do the one and a half inch again, okay? Just like we did with the other. And then I'm going to keep it together and go over to one inch. So the pattern I want to show is on the inside. This worked yesterday, so let's hope it works now. <laughs> Never know when you start doing a video, right? Just make sure it's nice and even. Now it should work. Okay, and then we're gonna go from that point to the one inch, just like we did before, okay? And where I marked it, it's not gonna matter. Oh, geez, what did I do? I cut that, cut that a little bit short. Mm, let me see if I can fix that. I don't like that edge on there. I need to get that. Hopefully, let me see. There's a little funky edge on that. I think I got it better. So, so make sure this point is right into that little groove. All right. Let's see. You're not going to see my pencil marks because they're on the back. Yeah, that's just not a nice clean point, but you know what? That's not gonna matter. That's gonna be kind of covered up. So see, that worked out perfect. You got this right like that. And I gotta erase this a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue these on. Um, let's see. I was trying to see if I can Mm. If not, I sometimes like to keep working and just read comments later. So, you know, I always answer you guys. All right. So just kind of center that. Now, 
But if you don't feel comfortable, then you have to lay, you know, cutting both of them together, then you have to lay it down and see what side you want where and cut it accordingly. But it's the same thing, the inch and a half down from the top and then that inch over from the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp um, the inside because then I wanna put that down. And I'm going to be using Mingo Melody. And it says you have a heart of gold. Well, I think the I think that one's got the heart of gold on it, not the thinks. Let's see. Oh, you have a heart of gold. And I did it in the green, so I better clean that. I was already on the other card. So alright, let's clean that real quick by my wipes here. And we want to do that in the garden green. I usually don't use wipe with wipes on my stamps, but sometimes for the Facebook, it's a little bit quicker. All right, so since we have this out, we're going to stamp a couple of things. We'll stamp the inside. Okay, and I will clean that in a minute. I'm going to do thanks on my little strip here. This is just a little half inch. Oops, I got that down too far. Let's see, I got enough space. That's better. Still down a little bit, but it's okay. All right, so let's just leave that. Let me clean these real quick. So I'll be using them again. Gives them time to dry. All right. So let's go ahead and glue this in and we can get this out of the way. And then we'll work on our front. Okay. So I have a belly band that is an inch by 10 inches. And what I do is just put it behind, okay? And then I just kind of fold it. And you don't want to fold it too tight because you want to be able to slide it off back and forth. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little glue there. And I'm doing it in the front because when we put our oval on, or the circle, I'm sorry, not the oval, it will be covered. This part will be covered. Okay. So it's a good way to hide that got a little glue there okay so now we are going to let's work on how I did the flowers okay and I think I got out my little um mat thing but I don't know where it is I don't know where I put it so we'll just do it anyways like we did so what I I'm going to work with is the bigger flowers okay and for the base the lighter color I'm going to use the mango melody so I'm just going to kind of get some on there and then come back and make sure I got enough on there so I'm just going to kind of go there I just have a scrap piece of like five and a half I shall be so this is the Mango Melody. And then I'm going to take and do, oh, you see, I almost need my mat. I really don't know what I did with it. I'm going to try to redo that. It helps with these photopolymer, po photo um, it really helps if you have the mat underneath it. We'll just try it again. Actually, I'm going to just flip this over. And what I think I'm going to do is very carefully, because I don't have that, um, I'm just going to slide it off 
and I'm going to do this and it should ink it really well when I do my bigger um stamps this is how I do it anyways so let's see ah better yep and I think that's why it's just because I don't have my little foamy mat under there I don't know what in the world I did with it start moving things and I can't find anything so all right so on this one this is all the detail of the stamps I'm going to take and ink that up really well okay and it should go like this and if it's not perfect it doesn't matter but what would be nice is the um using the stamp radis for this as well this way if it came out like it did the first time I could just re-ink it and redo it okay I'm wondering I'm going to kind of do the same thing just to make sure that it's okay ah there we go isn't that beautiful so that is Mingle Melody and Pumpkin Pie I think it's pretty now I'm going to use the Garden Green and I'm just going to stamp my leaves three times. Okay. And then there is dies to cut these out. Let me just show you. I'm going to show you what I do with the flowers. So you got dies. You got actually three of these dies to cut the leaves out. Okay. And then I use my stylish frame circle, the stitch circle, and I just kind of put it like put it where I wanted to on my flowers like that. And then I ran this all through the big shot, and this is what I got. I got all this so because otherwise my table shakes. So okay, so that's how I did that. You still have to stamp everything, but then you can position it kind of where you want. And I wanted to get more of like the bigger flowers. So okay, so that's how we did that. So I'll finish putting this all together, and then I've got to show you the other thing too. I got that pretty tight, so um, just going to glue that on. But when I glued my leaves on, I kind of didn't really like how they looked, honestly, um, because they were just sticking out. And it just so happened that I positioned them kind of perfect when I added this thanks. It kind of like touched all the ends of it so then it laid better or looked better, I thought. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is add this on here. And I just use dimensionals. So this is pretty big. So I'm just going to, you can kind of judge where to put them. And I'm putting four on there so it holds it good. Okay. So are you guys ready? for the big storm we're supposed to get again I don't know what we're gonna get up here just kind of crazy everything is still a sheet of ice which is I feel like you're taking your oh eh, I'm gonna leave that I should have had it over just a hair but I'm gonna leave it because by the time I tear it off it's going to probably rip again so I'm going to try to do this again <laughs> To position them so I can kind of put my thanks there. You you always can put your thanks wherever, but um, see how they just kind of look like they're sticking out. They don't belong. So that's my goal is to try to make it all fit nice. So let me see. I'm gonna have to cut this. Yeah, it's been snowing here um too, but real fine now. It wasn't before. It was snowing pretty good, but um I just gotta move up to make sure. Okay. 
so I'm going to, I have, this is like the half inch and this is three quarters. So it's a piece of Mingo Melody. So I'm just going to put that on there so I can kind of judge where to put the third leaf. it of course good thing for glue most of the time right okay so that goes there and you know what I think I am going to probably add this one mm. I may tuck that right there it doesn't really matter Okay, so we're going to add this with our dimensionals as well, the sentiment. I wasn't sure what embellishments I wanted to put on here because um, I was digging a few out that could go with it. I have the rhinestones, but I may change that. Okay. Now, if you didn't stick these leaves on here, I probably might do the things like either just here you could even do it on the bottom there but let me close my glue so it's not all over so let me see I got I do have the new pearls but I don't know if they show up enough and then I got them you know what these might look nice on there let me try one something a little different yeah you don't see them quite as much um yeah I guess I don't know I do think they're pretty on there all right there and these are the fine sparkle adhesive back gems I'm not even sure if these are still in the book yet but I had quite a few left over so I thought well I'm gonna dig some of that out so this is the card what do you guys think do you like it I got this little belly band a little tighter than my other one. So it's got to kind of work with it and it does loosen up a hair. Okay. So you have a heart of gold. How pretty. So now I have to, okay, not too bad. Get over the embellishments. There. So which ones do you like better? Do you like these embellishments or the rhinestones? I actually kind of think I like these. They're kind of the same color, but okay. All right, let's do card number two. Let me find room to put these so they don't fall on the ground for me. All right. So card number two. is the happy mother's day we can never be too soon right so this is just basically a plain you know the basic card so we got our um thick basic white this is four and a quarter by 11. when you're using this white for the base you definitely have to use the thick so and then I have a piece of balmy blue that is, let me see, this is the inside. Um, a piece of the balmy blue that is five by three and, quarter, three and three quarters. So five inches by three and three quarters. And the DSP I cut at four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So I'm just going to layer that. Now, if you place an order, um, $35 or more, and use my host code, which I have it linked right into the ordering, um, you have to order by Sunday, midnight, and then on Monday, I will cut and ship this, you know, the card stock and everything except the stamped images. We cannot send stamped images. Um, so you could use really any flower that you have. But you'll get all the card stock to complete the three projects today, the three cards. 
Okay, so there's that. Then I used the stylish frames and I cut out um, in the balmy blue and the white, the two largest squares. I hated to cover that up, but um, it needed something. So. I had my first class, live class up here in Atlanta and I had a wonderful time. It was absolutely so much fun. I miss, I miss having my live classes. So it was really awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna do is work on the flowers and hopefully these turn out good. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, so I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm just gonna use this since I messed up on it. But I'm going to use the um, polished pink, and I'm going to use this for both of them, but I'm going to ink off one, okay? So I want this light, and I'm almost thinking I should probably keep doing what I was doing here, make sure. Okay, yep, that's good. And now I'm going to use the one with all the detail, and use that full strength. Get this turned the right way. I hope I'm in the camera. I feel like I keep scooting down closer and closer to me. But okay, I'm just pressing it and I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure it's We do what we have to do, right? Okay. Oh, it's off a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Isn't that beautiful? Just love this. My grandmother always planted um, yellow marigolds and the purple petunia. She'd always stagger them. Just loved them. So, okay. So you got stamping first and second generation, okay? And then I'm going to take the garden green, get this card here, and I'm going to use the stem that goes with this, and then another leaf on top. And that's in the garden green. Nope, I think I need to um I think I need to wash this one stamp, but it doesn't stick very well. The photopolymer, you almost need to take and just wash them and then they work great again. I've been using it quite a bit. That or just because I'm using this baby wipe and the block is wet. So it could be that too. All right, so I use the dies. There is dies to cut these out. Um, so you got that die, and then of course your leave, and then you got this one to cut this out. But you know what? If you want to use like garden green paper instead, they also have this die. And I think this is really nice too. If you don't want to stamp that and just use this, um, it's really pretty and it does some little embossing in there. So that's all cut out. Um, and I have it right here. So on the inside, um, I did Happy Mother's Day and this is where I wrote, you have a heart of gold, thanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. I just had three ladies this time, but it was really nice because um, I kind of got to know them and kind of know how much they do the stamping or the scrapbooking. So, you know, it made it kind of fun. I think the place that I have it, 10 would be the max that I could probably have. 
because it would be too congested. I mean, even 10 might be too much, but sometimes I actually enjoy my smaller classes because I feel like I can give them more one-on-one -on -one attention. So, and I think they really enjoyed it. So that's, you know, the most important thing. So, until you kind of get to know somebody and know how well they stamp or how they can, you know, if they're good at cutting paper or, everything so it was it was fun so they're hopefully looking forward to it next month too so so because I was doing white on white I took and added the balmy blue and then it kind of oops hopefully I didn't get ink in it and then it kind of helps balance your card from being so front heavy so okay when you go to stand it up, it just doesn't flip over. Okay, so what I did with this is I took and got that... Oh, get off my finger. Um, I popped that up, first of all, okay? And then the leaves I glued down in the stem. We actually did the playing in the rain class that I'm doing for my retreat. So they they really like that. Nice cheerful cheerful cards. Yes, it, it was actually a perfect group. Kinda I gotta get back in the groove of things once you um kinda have a little time off from that. <laughs> so okay, so I kinda put that about there. So I'm just gonna tuck in the leaves. in here even at home when I would do I would do two classes of um, four maybe five but then sometimes if I had more I had to do a third class but I actually really enjoy doing four per class because I feel like you can give them a lot more attention and some people need a little more help than others, so I'm just gluing this on the Happy Mother's Day. Um, you could pop it up if you wanted to, but I stamped this in the polished pink, and then I took in um, fussy cut it. So it actually wasn't too hard to fussy cut. So, and what I did is I had that wonderful white frayed ribbon, and I tore it apart. And my leftover ribbon, I just keep in a little Ziploc bag because once you start pulling it apart, it's like you get lots of little pieces. But I just love doing that. So I'm going to put that right here. I tie my little bow. I just take about, oh, I don't know. I maybe got about eight to ten strands there. And I just like how it kind of just is soft without being too much. I don't want a big, thick ribbon on there. So that worked out perfect. So let me see what this one. Let me bring that back here. Um, what do I have on here? You know what? I got my new white pearls. Let me just see how those. <laughs> I haven't used these yet. Um, see how they look on here. I may change my mind and not, not want to use them. But I think they're going to be very, very pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, my. I don't know what I was saving these for. I got glue on me. Oh my God, they're absolutely beautiful. Let's put a big one down here like I did. Uh, I'm gonna put that there. What do you guys think? I love these pearls. Oh my, beautiful. Like I said, I don't know what I was saving them for. The other ones are nice too. The other ones are, um, let me see, I don't even got these in their package anymore, but I know it's new, so I use them a lot. Okay, so there's the second card. Don't you just love the pink? I mean, I don't even know if there is pink marigolds, but that's beautiful. So, okay, so this is our third card, the little step-up card, and um, interesting cutting this piece out, so... And I'm not sure I like the way I layered them. Um, 
for my other class, I did a barrel and kind of had them sticking out. I actually kind of like that better. Try different things, right? So, on this one, let's see here. Um, I had already cut one, but I'm going to show you how to cut this, okay? Um, there is a... There is this die that comes with it, the marigold, the you know, in the marigold moments die. So when you cut it out, you get when you cut a strip that's like probably about three quarters, you get these two pieces. Okay, so this gets cut out, and I I actually like this piece. I was gonna put on the bottom here, but um, I thought it was kind of covering it up too much. And then when I got done doing the card, I didn't have this up here and it looks so plain. And I'm thinking, oh, that's a perfect spot for that. It almost looks like a little window. So that's how you get these two pieces. So when you go to cut this, definitely save these because you can use it for something else. Okay. So that's what I did with that. And then for the card base, um, to get this, I'll kind of show you how I cut it. I'm just going to fold this a little bit. Pretty easy to, to cut, but I got another paper here to, to show you. Because it's, it's nice to see how it's designed. And maybe some of you have already done this, but... Okay, get my trimmer back here. So you start with the eight and a half by um, five and a half. So eight and a half by five and a half. So you're gonna put this, I'm using this one inch mark again on the other side of the cutter. So you are going to actually cut this <clears throat> from one inch. And I have my, I got my score tape under here so I can see much better. So you're actually going to cut it from one inch to five and a quarter. Okay. So before I move my paper, I, I kind of double check and everything, but then I flip it over because it's just much easier to do the same. So I should be almost at five and a quarter. And then I go back to one inch. Okay. So that's just one inch on each side. Then I take and I go, I use this one inch again, and I'm using my scoring blade, and I'm only scoring at one inch to the one inch mark, and then I'm coming down here and doing the same, okay? And then I have to flip it over because now I need the two inch mark. So how, you see how I um, scored right here and right here only to that mark? And I'm doing it again at two inches. Okay. Then you come back at... Ugh, my thing's sticking. Then you come back at five and a quarter. And you do the same thing. Just that inch. Okay. Then you go back to four and a quarter. And you're going to do just the center. Okay. Okay. So you're working with just the inch, your inch from one inch to five and a quarter on both ends. You scored at five and a quarter, two inches, and one inch, and then at four and a quarter. And I can take and mark this in with pen and um, put it in the comments after if you want it. Okay, so that's how you do that. Fairly simple. And then you get this, of course, and you want to take and... Um, you know, pressure your score lines down really good because it'll stand up nice. Okay, see how that is? All right, so what I did is I have, I got to set these down here. I have, um, this is for the inside, and I didn't, I don't think I stamped anything inside. Okay, so for the inside, um, it's three and an eighth by five and a quarter. So because this is a thanks um, or card, I'm just going to leave it blank. But you can stamp a flower, you can stamp whatever. 
And I'm going to put that in right away. So that fits right in here. So it gives you plenty of room to write and uh, get it up a little higher. Okay. And then um, I have a piece for the front here. And I'm going to put that down first. Um, let's see. This is three and a quarter by three and a half. Okay. I'm just going to flatten that so I can... Now, if you were to stamp or anything, you're going to want to do that before you put this down. So you got three and a quarter by three and a half. And I could have probably cut it three and a quarter by three and a quarter, but I kind of wanted that covered up. So I have a piece of the designer paper. I actually got two that are seven eighths by three inches and then seven eighths by five and a quarter. And what I did is I just cut a whole strip seven eighths by 12 and I was able to get these three pieces out of there and um I had just a little bit left over about an inch left over okay so I'm just going to layer this and cover up that white and then I'm going to put these on the top you're going to leave this little inch blank because you're not going to really see it Oops, I got glue on there. Ugh. Let me wipe my fingers, because we all know what happens, right? I don't know how I could have gotten glue on there, but... Okay, so we'll put that here. There. So that is how that looks there and then I'm going to put this little piece here now I have to cut some I like to always cut these a little bit longer so you can kind of adjust to how you want it so I'm just not going to put a lot of glue on the ends if I have to add I will uh, probably should move that over I think I'm glue happy today. Get glue all over. So I'm just snipping this. That little edge. Got too much glue in one area, so I'm just going to let it dry and not enough here. Okay. Now, if you get glue like that sticking out there, I'm going to wipe it. But if it's sticky, all you got to do is add a little cornstarch on it. Wipe it off and it will be fine. And it will not show any of the um, cornstarch either. It just takes the stickiness out of there. So, all right. Let's see. Did I pop them up? I did. I popped all three up. So let's do that. Eh, that ribbon is sticking to my fingers now. I am actually going to... I'm going to kind of lay this out and just see if I can do it a little bit different. I don't know if I should have my stems maybe, I think, kind of closer. I think that's what I'm going to do is put my stems kind of closer. I should have maybe left them on there, but make it look more like a bouquet, I guess. We'll try it. Let's see, I'm going to just place this here so I can get a general idea. Because even if it's on top of each other, it look more like a bouquet. So we'll put that one down. Down or maybe up, I'm not sure. Uh, that's about the same. I might go a little bit higher. Let's do that. Okay, we can add these. And I may, I may glue one down. Let me glue this one down. 
I guess it doesn't matter. You know, it's supposed to kind of look like a little window, so... I think I'm just being a little too fussy. <laughs> okay, so let's pop the other ones up. Now, I took it... I'm going to show you how to stamp them, even though I already got them on here. Just, it was kind of the... Um, same color as well, but I'll show you quickly how I stamp them. Mm, okay. And I'm going to put this one down a tad. Okay, that's a little bit different, not a whole lot. But what I'm going to do is maybe put my thanks here. So, let's see. I don't know what I did with my little white paper here. I got an extra one. Um, let's see. I need to slice a piece off here. And then I got to add my little window, which I kind of put them maybe a little bit too low. Let's just see here. Oh, I do everything different each time, don't I? So, no, I think it'll be fine. It'll still, and I can trim a little bit of that off. Maybe I'll do that. Because I actually think I had my other one a little bit thinner. So, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit off the, um, off this top. Let's try it. Since I kind of already had that cut. And I think that'll look nicer. All right. Sometimes it's fun to change up a little bit. So yeah, see that looks better, but it still adds to it. So I am going to I actually glued this down and then cut it. Maybe I'll do that. Cuz you know what? I'm sure I will mess up. I was going to put a little glue here, kind of get it how I want it, but doesn't it look cool? I just think it's such a nice piece. It's like, why waste it? Okay, so let's let that just dry for a second. I am going to stamp, let's see. So I'm going to use the small flowers this time. Don't need that. So I'm going to stamp my thanks. Oh, I think what I'm doing, I gotta bring this down here because I'm not getting it centered. There we go. It's hard to see when I had it further away. So what I got here is the two little they to me they remind me of a carnation so i'm just going to because i need to stamp off again so i think with these i shouldn't hopefully have any problem i'm going to stamp off ink so i did three of these so this is like the second generation and then I did full strength. And the nice part about this is if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. It just, it looks nice. I mean, it just looks like with a little lighter edge. I mean, all flowers are different anyways, right? So, okay. And then I did the, the green is the different stem for those flowers, just to show you. <coughs> Excuse me, that's in the garden green. And then there's dies to cut that out, both of them, so nice. It's a very nice set. I didn't get it at first, and then I kept looking at it, and I was thinking, oh, it's kind of almost bummed that I didn't get it. So, all right, so we're just gonna cut that on a slight angle. Okay, and 
you know what? I got this little strip of the purple that I was showing you. And I actually think I might glue that on there because now that it isn't on top of the green, I don't want it looking washed out. So we're just going to take a little glue and glue that on and then I'll snip it. Kind of just center it. Okay. So let's get these. I just folded it. Snip them. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna do my thanks. All right. And I'm gonna pop this up. I already went to the grocery store just to get a few items this morning just to um, avoid the craziness of, I'm sure now. <laughs> so, all right, so I got thanks there. Now I got the little ribbon. And I think I'm just going to put that right there. Just kind of on an angle. And I could have done it the other way too, but something a little different. So what do we want to use? Oh, I do want to use the dark purple. Because um, I think that looks nice on here. These are from, if I can get them open. Oh, not going down far enough. These are in the new catalog, so. Hmm. Can't really tell I got glue on my fingers. Let's pull them out. Okay, and then we'll do another one right here. And you know what? Since I kind of moved things around, I actually think I'm going to put a couple more right there. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you like the second one better? I don't know which one I like better. I guess it, you know, it doesn't matter. They're kind of very similar, but either way, to me, it just reminded me as if you're looking at a window, like at a, you know, flower shop, and that's all the flowers. So, okay, so here is our cards for today. Let me know what you think, if you like them or not. I'm going to just set that on there because that helps. And I was just going to let you know, well, first of all, I got to tell you, I kind of been skipping this set in the celebration, and I need to use it because I, I don't even know about the flowers so much but I love the sayings that they have and how they're written they're kind of smaller but I really like how um you know like kindness matters for a very happy birthday I just think this is a really nice set so I may not do a live on it but I may do cards and then post them okay but I think that's really a cool set I don't know how I overlooked it but I did and then um coming up in March for um, we got to pre-order, and I just pre-ordered. I did not order ahead of time, but the Irresistible Blooms. And um, I really like how this font is, too. That's like, I don't know, there's sometimes stamp sets, like I may not like what they have on them for the images, but I really like um, more the fonts. But look at this. This cuts out. I, I just cannot wait to play with it. I think it's going to be so cool. And then the paper is really cool. And then we have these little frosted gems, which I'll, I'll get more into that. 
But um, the paper is really awesome too. So when I get some cards done on that, I'll let you know. And then we could do, you know, three different embossing folders. Um, they had some other paper, but I didn't order that. I just thought I'm gonna play around with this. That was enough for me. So, but um, all right. So that was it for today. Um. You know, I do know they updated the clearance rack. So even if you're thinking of joining, you can order off the clearance rack as well. Um, so if you have any questions or whatever, let me know, okay? And I do hope you enjoyed today's Facebook Live. Thank you for joining me. Um, please share with your crafty friends. I appreciate it. And like I said, if you order $35 or more before Sunday night and use my host code, um, I'll send you the product to make these three cards. You just will have to either have the Marigold Moment stamp set or you can use any flower. I think it would be fine. But I'll send you enough white paper that you can stamp and cut out and everything, okay? But have a great, great rest of the week and also stay safe with this crazy weather, okay? See you guys next Wednesday at 10. Thanks. Bye-bye.